Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're gonna be talking about soft keywords. And uh, in order to present the problem, I'm gonna show you a very real scenario that happened in Python and then why they invented soft keywords going forward. Uh, in order to show this, I'm gonna write some code that originally targeted Python 3.6 and below. Uh, and that's very <laughs> specific because this changed in, I think, 3.7. Um, but if uh, you used to be able to write a function like this, it uh, doesn't matter what the function is, um, maybe it's like a parameter, and you used to be able to have a uh, variable named async, uh, like so. And if you were to run this, I actually don't have, uh, I actually don't have uh, 3.6 on this machine because it no longer builds cleanly on modern OpenSSL. Um, oops, oh, uh, colon source, there we go. Uh, oh, <laughs> we actually run it in the foreground, there we go. All right, so if we do Python 3.6 source d.py, you'll see that this code succeeds. It's able to run code where, uh, oops, cat <laughs> source d.py early in the morning. Uh, it's able to run code which uses async as a variable name. However, if we were to run this in any newer version than that, we're going to get a syntax error on this particular line because in 3.7, async became a keyword. And this is a problem in basically any evolving programming language. Uh, anytime you introduce a keyword, you tend to break previous code that had been working maybe for decades. You know, Maybe this had been written way, way back in the Python 2 era, and so... <clears throat> You know, introducing this keyword is a breaking change for the language, even if nothing is using that new keyword, uh, simply because it breaks existing code. Some languages take this to an extreme, like C is an example where backwards compatibility is very, very important. And as such, they reuse existing keywords to have different meanings. Like if you've ever seen static in C++, it means like four or five different things. Uh, but Python decided to introduce async and break code in this way. And this is a break in a really, really unfortunate way because you'll see here, async is part of the API of this function. So not only is it, you know, it breaks their code, it forces them to make an API change and that has cascading effects to anyone who's using that library. So where do soft keywords come into this? Soft keywords is a thing that was introduced in Python 3.9, although there were no soft keywords in 3.9. Uh, that allowed the language to evolve without breaking existing code. And from my understanding, a lot of this came from the peg parser, the re-implementation of the parser, which allowed uh, the parser to treat things basically different based on a context. And so what a soft keyword is, is it's a keyword in the place where that keyword is being used, but otherwise it is not a keyword at all. I'll give you an example of uh, some source in Python 3.10. Um, I have very often used the regex module and had a compiled regex such as uh, reg re.compile, I don't know, f plus. Uh, and I very often assign the result of a match to a variable called match. And if you do reg.match and you know, a bunch of f's, you're going to get a match object back. Now, uh, you'll see here in both of these cases, I'm using the word match, I'm assigning a variable to it, I'm looking at the variable's value. However, there is also a match keyword. And if we had done like match uh, one in case zero is zero, case one, like you're able to use a pattern matching statement. And this match here is, a soft keyword. So it is referring to the match statement and not to our match variable here. This allowed Python to introduce match and case and actually underscore as another one because um, there is the underscore match in, uh, in things. And this underscore is truly a keyword, <laughs> which is a little bit weird um, because this is the fall through sort of the uh, catch all case. Um, but Python was able to introduce match, case, and underscore as three keywords without breaking any existing code that may have used variable names for either of these three. Uh, and so that's kind of the idea of a soft keyword. It allows language, the language to progress 
without breaking existing code. Uh, in the currently released version of Python, Python 3.11, I believe match, case, and underscore are the only soft keywords. We're about to get one more in Python 3.12, the type keyword. Uh, you can look at the list if you go to import keyword, oops, key, keyword, uh, and there's functions in here to say like is, is keyword and is soft keyword, uh, but there's also the lists if you want to access them directly. <clears throat> so you can see here in uh, 3.11, those are our soft keywords. If we look at Python 3.12, we should get one more. Uh, word keyword, keyword, but 3.12 isn't released yet, so that's why I'm not, <laughs> it's not officially that way yet. But uh, the new type statement also uses a soft keyword. And this one's really interesting because type is also a built-in in Python. And so <laughs> it's now a built-in and a keyword and you can assign to it so, uh, or a soft keyword. Anyway, hopefully you found this useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.